It was another busy weekend for Chicago police officers. 46 people were shot, 10 people were killed. The rise in shootings coming as hundreds of new Chicago police officers prepare to hit the streets. CBS 2 investigator Megan Hickey was there for today's graduation ceremony. And Megan, today wasn't just about swearing in a new class of officers. As Mayor Johnson pointed out, they also promoted a new generation of detectives. They're hoping it's one way not only to prevent future shootings, but also to solve them. Today, we celebrate and honor the beginning of the careers of individuals. Freshly sworn in CPD officer Jalen Loving did it for them. This is my wife, Maria, and this is Jalen Loving Jr. <laughs> Say hi, baby. The brand new 20th District Police Officer was one of... Raise your right hand and repeat after me. 261 recruits sworn in. Robert Ataveros. Officially joining the force on the heels of another violent Chicago weekend. From 5 p.m. on Friday to 5 a.m. Monday morning, 46 people were shot. Ten of those shooting victims did not survive, and three of those victims were under the age of 18. Still, Interim Superintendent Fred Waller stressed at today's ceremony. Even when it seems as if the work we do is in vain, trust me, it's not. 100 officers were promoted to sergeant, 45 were made field training officers, and 84 officers became detectives. A role in particular that Mayor Brandon Johnson told me. What you're going to see over time is um, a more sophisticated, sharp response to what public safety has to look like. Is going to be a large part of his anti-violence summer safety plan. People of Chicago uh, want us to solve violent crime in the city. And there are strategic plans that are being implemented to get us to a, a better clearance rate. For more than a year, the CBS2 investigators have been digging into how the nationwide homicide clearance rate is down. And here in Chicago, we're below average, according to the latest data available in the low 30% range. Johnson hopes more detectives will help send the message that you can't get away with murder in our city. He says this group will also be a big help. You know, days get canceled. But I mean, we got to make the city safe. So I'm looking forward to the challenge. Absolutely. We're told about one third of the recruits who graduated today are women and about 74% of them identify as officers of color. In the loop, Megan Hickey, CBS 2 Investigators. Thank you, Megan.